Yes, sir. My tricker back up in this thing, man. Today, I hope y'all ready for some more mysterious oddities, man. Today, I'm reacting to some creepy TikToks that'll make you not want to leave the house. But before we hop into that, man, go ahead and spam that like button right now so we can run the numbers up on the algorithm. You know, you gotta think about it later. And then if you haven't already, man, go ahead and hit that sub button, man. Sub up, join the family. I promise you, this is the most lit and active community on YouTube, period, man. And to everybody who's already subbed up, you already know I appreciate each and every one of you guys. And I know that some of you guys find my voice calming, so with that being said, I did go ahead and start a mod tricker ASMR channel. The link is in the description. Go ahead and subscribe. I haven't posted a video yet because I really don't know what to post. Tell me what you guys would like to see on that channel and I'll go ahead and start making videos. But in the meantime, go ahead, run the numbers up on that channel. Sub up, man. Let's get that going. But with that being said, let's hop straight into the video. <laughs> It's a little bit emotional. I've been in one room since last year, so uh, it's a little bit emotional. Uh, I want to give respect, firstly, to the judges who heard us today because they were very attentive and they listened to us and, and they let us free, so I have to give absolute respect to them. I have no resentment in my heart for the country of Romania or for anybody else. I just believe in the truth. It was political, so... Uh, I believe in God and I think that the, the fire of truth will eventually destroy all lies and anybody who lies on a long enough time frame will feel the sting of regret and I believe in this. Yeah, sure. Um, I, I truly believe that justice will be served in the end. There is 0% chance of me being found guilty of something I have not done. I maintain my absolute innocence and I think most people understand this and uh, I look forward to uh, being home. So thank you very much everybody. <laughs> when I was in jail I did 7,417 push-ups. <laughs> <laughs> I would like I to get to, I would like to get to ten thousand before the end of the weekend. So I make ten thousand already. I, I will I will focus on the push-ups and, and I will read and I will read the Quran. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Our house has been raided. All of our electronics have been taken. Emergency! It's gonna be interesting to see how this case plays out. But I know he's excited to go see his barber. <sighs> So you can't even walk in the Whole Foods unless you go through this machine? I need my own QR code? How do I get my own QR code? How do I get my own QR code? You mean, I have to have my own QR code to come into Whole Foods? You don't have to stand in line What do they do? They just, what? It just knows you have it because it scans it. It knows you have products? Yeah, the, the, the Wi-Fi or whatever it is, it scans your products. Whoa, and this is the future of grocery yeah. This is a vending machine gas station. I'm talking about there's no workers. It's literally a vending machine. Whatever you need, 24 hours. Yeah, uh, I'm talking about they got everything you need. Honestly, that's more of a hassle because if there's an issue, like let's just say you get charged for something you didn't take, now you gotta be on the phone with tech support instead of just going to the attendant. That's just inconvenient. Right into the tunnel. It's leaking. It's leaking something red. Where? Straight ahead. Gosh. Leaking something red. That's concerning. I don't know what that could be. It looked like the outline of a person, though. The Beatles were 100% 
created by Tavistock and all genres of music. Each genre of music has an agenda. There's a point that they're trying to drive home, that they're trying to condition people with in order to move their agenda forward. And the agenda is social engineering. It was to move away from the what most people would call the traditional values, especially with regard to Christianity. And so the Beatles really kicked that off. And we can argue that it went before the Beatles with Elvis and so on, but the big push with the British invasion started with the Beatles. So the Beatles were 100% a creation of Tavistock. You know how this works. There's this whole grooming process that takes place. So the Beatles were put in place in order to break down the cultural and societal norms at the time. And they did it in a way that was very methodical. It was very incremental. For many people, it wasn't very shocking. Maybe to the adults, to the older folks it was, but for the younger folks, the younger generation, they just soaked it right up. And it was to pull people away from the societal structures that their parents were accustomed to. And that was the very beginning of the 1960s is when Crowley's Iana Forest was being pushed very hard going forward. And now it's 60 years. Hey, but compared to the music today, they made straight nursery rhymes. I'm sorry, they just found what under the water? <laughs> nah, 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 this is flipping mental. This guy right here is Jake Kohler, a famous YouTuber and scuba diver. Very experienced and for years has been exploring the underwater world as a treasure hunter. Whilst exploring the depths of Lake Guntersville in Alabama, he made a shocking discovery. He saw something at the bottom of the lake which he originally thought was just a shipwreck. This is what he found. A flipping UFO at the bottom of the lake. Oh, not something that just looks like a UFO, an actual UFO, look at it. Cola contacted the authorities and they have been swarming to the place ever since with scientists and investigators and the news has gone global. Paddy have published a full article, so go check it out. Link in Come on now with the chat GPT images. What you got in the background? He looks at him. Eye contact. Hand signal. Going away. Hey, that was like a reminder to stick to the script. None of the local little save a lot grocery stores gonna ever let that happen. A little bit better and better with the time. What is this? What is this? Are you serious? <laughs> yeah, this is supposed to be this is supposed to be this craft here, this thing that went up on this balloon. And you know, it's got all these cameras on it and everything. I don't know if you guys can see my my, my yeah, cursor. Sorry. Oh yeah. But then, you know, they, this, this guy's supposedly up there and the balloon goes up and then this is the view that he gets. <laughs> <laughs> It's like what? <laughs> but again, this is this is just in line with the technology at the time, and this is exactly what people would believe. I mean, imagine if we were 50 years ago and we were shown this, we would be like, "Wow, that must be what space looks like." And so, you just yeah. kind of move along with the times, and and then if you look at like yeah. how terrible the, um, you know, the mirror looked. Hey, NASA been at it since day one. The gas sign when the devil warns is a curse. Many devil worship celebrities popularize the symbol. Is there any A-list celebrities that's not riding that wave at this point? 
All right, TikTok. So here we have a pretty disturbing video that my aunt showed me that she caught on her ring camera a couple nights back. I'm just going to let y'all play the first first video. Y'all tell, tell me what this might be. Look closely. Y'all see that thing moving in the top? Getting closer, moving my Now, this is the second video. Look at it. Y'all see that? The thing got closer and lit up the ground. What? Come on. What can that be? Anybody, please. Explanation, please. Riley, North Carolina, please give me an explanation of what this might be. It's like the classic glowing orb, but I don't know if I'm standing in the house. You've heard of chlorine, of course, mostly in our pools, and, and people have to think, is chlorine actually dangerous for me? It's a huge problem, Alex. It's a huge problem. Study after study has said that people who are exposed to chlorinated water uh, are have an increased incidence of heart disease, heart attacks, breast cancer in women, and uh, Alzheimer's and other forms of cancer. And you know what? Most people don't know that we get two-thirds of our exposure to chlorine in the bath or the shower when it's absorbed through your skin. Let me show you something. This is ordinary Tucson tap water. And it's the same water because I'm pouring it out of the same glass. Mm -hmm. These are the same pool test drops you test for chlorine in your backyard swimming pool. I'll drop five drops in each glass. Oh, look at that. Almost instant. And if it turns yellow, there's chlorine in there. There's Very chlorine. Clearly. Now, I'm going to swish my fingers around in this one to simulate taking a bath or a shower. Just for a couple of seconds. Watch. Same number of drops. Wow, no sleight of hand here. And you're saying in those two seconds that you switched your fingers in there? All that chlorine was absorbed right through the skin of my fingers. Now, I'm going to do something that I haven't done much down here. This is a, just a slice of potato. I'm going to swish it around in there just for that length of time. Okay. Drop the same number of drops in there. Look at that. Just the same as your fingers. Don't tell me it absorbed directly into the food. Every bit of that chlorine just went right into the food. So whatever you're cooking in chlorinated water, it's going right into your food and you're eating it. Well, I mean, the proof here is in the water. I mean, if you shower, it absorbs into your skin. If you're cooking with your food, it absorbs into your food. It's hard to swallow the fact that we're eating and ingesting all of that chlorine. So for a lot of people, this might seem hopeless because it's coming out of every sink of every shower. What can we actually do about it? You know what, Alex? If, if you don't like the taste of your tap water, and that's why most people get a water system, because they don't like the taste. If you don't like to taste your tap water, you're tired of buying case after case of bottled water and bringing it home, and maybe now you're a little bit concerned about what's in the water, not to mention the hard water problems that you have to deal with all the time, it's probably time you consider getting a whole house water system. That's probably why I got eczema. I know it sounds crazy, guys, but this high voltage experiment is literally ripping a hole in the clouds. That's why I turned it on right down there. And then this is the last 30 minutes. And this baby's pumping out like 100,000 volts, I think. Yeah, about 100,000 volts. So it's about to be a sunny day, guys. Hey, the last thing we need is for people to be building homemade heart machines. Esta misma noche en San Fernando, Cádiz, grabamos este fenómeno y empezó a sonar de nuevo el sonido misterioso. city about to repent. While you were distracted by all this Trump nonsense, President Biden signed his first veto, and you'll never guess the conspiracy theorists are right again. So President Biden celebrated the fact that he used his veto power to strike down a bipartisan bill mainly focused on ESG, environmental, social, and corporate governance laws. Basically, remember what we talked about before, the social credit system, where you're not going to be able to do anything if, say, you post a tweet that the government doesn't like, or maybe your bank doesn't like? ESG is specifically focused on those sort of things, especially for corporations. It's the start of a social credit system, and the president, against both the House and the Senate that represent the American people, used his plenary veto power in order to stop the bill. Ask yourself why. Not making a good case, man.
wasn't happy with the mask. Okay, so I know I was only gone at my conference for like a week, but I came home and now I'm curious. Are y'all okay? Look at this. I can't recall a time here recently, even within the last few years, where they've had a Bible get one on chicken fries. Y'all seen this? What's going on? I want to get one free. What Walmart she at? Back to Moscow. Nobody has ever been able to independently verify who and what this body is. They let one genetic test occur and the body with the that they said was Hitler and have said, and that's the narrative, that's the story, that's the, all the eyewitness accounts that are in, even in the vicinity of co co collaborating with each other. Um, and cooperating each other's testimony, like the closest version, because none of it seems to be very accurate, is that, okay, here's Hitler's skull, and when they did the genetic testing, it's that of a 35-year-old woman. So like, oh. Y'all here sipping mint julep somewhere. That looked like a satellite or a rocket re-entering the atmosphere. In the gate, the crest has gone. If you're going closer, you can see that the windows are all boarded up from the inside or covered or something. But it's the first time that has ever happened. And the guys guarding the palace aren't the royal guards. They are Gurkhas. The Gurkhas guarding the palace. Interesting. And in the gate. How you get put out of your own palace? What did they do? All the stress from being in office went straight to her neck. today. Hey, I don't know if y'all know this, but I actually work in a cloud factory. We create clouds and make rain for the city of Chicago. The government the government doesn't want you to know this. We control the climate. Hey, if that's true, you know he ain't got no job no more. Look at his shadow here. It's on his right, or our right, which means that the sun would be to the left. Now, here's a pan to the right. This is not edited. 
or spliced. The camera is just panning to the right, but now his shadow is straight ahead, or rather about 1 o'clock. Get a little zoom here. He does a little dance. Now he starts moving again. We pan to the right, and his shadow is now on the left. This is uh, what the French call impossible. It is a total joke. Maybe they actually did go, but had to touch up the video because they couldn't show what was actually there. Honored, my friend. Thank Thank you. you. And here's the hell. May we have as much fun there as we had getting there. Well, and we'll be there. interesting people that you're going to meet down there <laughs> we'll have fun i guess like you're in doors just sitting there open oh my oh someone is dying tonight and it ain't me Yo, what the f- i have a conspiracy theory and it's that congress is trying to ban tiktok because our fertility rate is declining and i think part of the reason why our fertility rate is declining is that straight women are having a collective awakening because of tiktok where they're realizing that it's much easier to live your life alone than it is to live a life with an idiot incompetent man child I think the tipping point was when weaponized incompetence became like a mainstream term and people started posting videos about their idiot partners who can't do anything right. I also genuinely believe that if Congress can't ban TikTok, they're going to find a way to ban relationship therapists from TikTok. Hey, some man out there really broke her heart. But with that being said, guys, that was the video. Thank you for coming to kick it with me. Let me know what you guys thought about these creepy TikToks in the comments below. And until next time, y'all take care of yourself.